guys are here before today's video starts off the season ended today so i recorded what i got out of my draft chest as well as some other chests that i had available today's video is basically a night witch video that i haven't come to edit yet but i had it the footage so the footage is a bit old a few days old but nonetheless i have it here right now edited for you guys to see um but this is all we'll do for now uh thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i'll catch you all later so we are going to be using this Night Witch Executioner Graveyard deck and I've been fooling around with it in uh, Classic Challenges um, the other day and it is pretty good. I get like good 8, eight wins consistently. So I'm going to showcase it here today and let's enter one now and let's enter our first battle. Alright so the tornado here is I feel like it's getting more and more into like a meta. It's been I've been seeing it more on ladder as well. Um, it's pretty useful in terms of its uh, pole abilities. So we're not, right off the bat, we're going to be using a graveyard uh, poison so we can kill his um, kill his pump as well. Hopefully, some skeletons spawn and kill the pump because I don't want that nasty pump in the to deal with. And he is going for executioner right away, which is not good because we don't want that. We're gonna pull the baby dragon. Okay, so the ice golem won't be lasting long. So we're gonna pull everything back so that the executioner can jump in and deal that. So there we go, we, we negated the um, damage the, from the golem explosion and the golem didn't do much to our tower. So now we got a push going on. We're gonna go with a graveyard so that the executioner can be the tank of our graveyard so that um, they can oh no he tapped how is that too close i swear to god now we're going to be using executioner once again for defense but it's going to hit my own tower so oh he decides to lightning interesting choice so we're going to showcase the night witch now uh, he has one as well, but I think I'm going to be using it better, I'm not going to lie. So he's going to pump the other direction, which means it's good to go to attack. I'm using skeleton in the graveyard and to distract everyone else, hopefully. So let's, um, let's start a pump, no, let's start an execution this way, um, so that he has to okay. never mind now the golem is always a troublesome part to deal with so let's pull him back oh shit i didn't pull him back we gotta put ice golem here and looks like i made a critical mistake as usual like i always do um hmm I'm gonna have to pull everything all the way here. And it doesn't seem like I'm gonna win this because I made one error in my calculations. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. And hopefully it does some damage. Because he's just gonna lightning me and I'm gonna lose and or log me. Mm, so that wasn't a really good example, a prime example of how to use this deck because uh, I didn't pull the golem backwards otherwise i would have had it all right we're back uh hopefully i don't make a mistake this time so let's uh get a skeleton going so we want to pull the hog which is what i really want yes thank you and we're just gonna make the fire spirits die there we go we're gonna start ice golem towards the direction of where his fire spirit is and executioner to deal with those fire spirits hopefully it doesn't have lightning i'm gonna poison this for value and a night witch here so now we got the electro wizard in the poison as well which provides even more value so he has to force a miner in um to defend which is not the best thing in the world but he has to do what he has to do 
you want to send an ice spirit and ice golem here to defend. So we're going to go with an executioner here to deal with a furnace. Now we're going to build up for our graveyard poison. There we go. Sadly, um, the Electro Wizard... Oh, okay, it went into the Void, and that's good. So let's excuse me, get one... Nope, not even one. So let's split our Skeletons. There we go, that negated the Wave of Fire Spirits. That we're gonna actually pull them here. That, that didn't do much because my tower wasn't there. So we're going to go over Ice Gone to Protect, we're going to go over Graveyard here, and we're going to go over Poison here, to poison everything in its way to get maximum value. So we got a Skeleton here, and we're going to pull some of these guys over here so that we can kill them. Alright, he's doing uh, quite a ton of damage to me, which isn't the prettiest Thing in the world. Okay, let's kill that hog rider real quick. Send in our graveyard poison. That's good. Let's pull everything towards the center over here so the execution can deal with it. And there we go. I think we got the tower. There we go. Po the not poison. Oh. Well played and good game to him. And that is one way to use the deck. Um, it's it's not bad. Uh, you can use a tornado defensively or offensively. Uh, it's pretty um, unique in its abilities, of course. Every card is unique. So right now we are versing Iran Boy, and we are going to use the execution. To, no, actually the Night Witch to start off. And he has a Lava Hound, which is good because. These two main cards um, are killers of Lava Hound. So he has a knight right now. So I am going to be using uh, Ice Golem to kite while my execution does work. So now we're gonna bring everything back so that the balloon doesn't get to the tower in time and I think it will be doing some damage to the tower yes it will so we're gonna go with a great aggressive graveyard poison and he placed a tombstone in the back which is a bad idea because the poison does uh, one hit on the tower on the skeletons so we did a good amount of damage on him so we're gonna start another push so I don't think his lava hound is gonna be doing Tons of damage to my tower because of the executioner and the tornado combo. Now these two together uh, are really, really, really good. So we're gonna go with bats. Hopefully, oh, too late. <laughs> Let's put an ice spirit down for, for splash damage. Hey, oh man, it didn't do much. So we're gonna go with. Uh, excuse me, I just burped. Executioner once again. We're gonna pull him over here so the Night Wish can do some damage. Uh, doesn't seem like it'll be doing much. So we're gonna go with a Graveyard Poison again. We got our tank and our Ice Golem. So let's do some damage. So we're doing, I think that's Tower Down. Easy money. So we're gonna go for the other side now. Since he is going for the other side, he's trying to hide that lava hound on the timer and the times two elixir. So I think he just used lightning, I'm not sure. Yeah, he did. So now I can put my night witch down. Night witch all the way. So we're gonna be pulling them this way. Poisoning this. And then put an executioner down. And uh, we got our bat going. So Ice Spirit just freeze the bomb if you didn't see the animation. So he's going the other way now, the complete other direction. 
So I don't know what he's doing, but he lost. So we're going to drop a good game to him. And that's a 10 minute video. I think I'll do one more to showcase since I lost one. So let's try to get three wins. All right, we're back. So we got our Night Witch set up in the first card. So as I said in the uh, tactical video, we've placed the Night Witch here. The bat is, one bat is gonna go to the other lane, one bat is gonna go in this lane, so. You gotta be mindful of the placement of the Night Witch. If you place the one tile to the left, then both bats will be going in the same direction. So let's protect this Night Witch by putting an Ice Golem down here, and we got a Bowler. No problemo, let's just do this. So that it distracts. Oh boy, poison would have been so so valuable right there. But my execution, I think, will be doing much more work um, to that minion horde. It will shred that minion horde. So there goes most of the minion horde. And we are going to be using Ice Spirit to tank for a little bit. So hopefully he doesn't have a log. Okay, so Executioner will also shred Barbarians. So let's just kite the Barbarians over here. The other lane, so it won't do any damage at all. And we're going to cycle through to our Executioner. So he's going for another push again. And we're going to be setting up for a massive push. Okay, so our bats gonna do work. And there goes the bats. It's okay. I can cycle back easily. And Ice Golem will act as a tank. Just like that, I took no damage except lightning damage, I believe, or something like that. Or some small damage, is that, um, from him. So we're gonna go Graveyard Poison, because he's going to use Minion Horde. There we go, there's the Minion Horde. And he just wasted 5 Elixir. So we're going to go with Night Witch once again. We're going to go with Ice Golem to Kite. Nope, never mind. Uh, we're going to go with Executioner here. We're going to go over here for the value. So let's put the ice loam in front. Let's put a graveyard to distract the bowler. And let's do a massive poison dump on him. Ooh. He did a good idea of taking away the bats. The bats are very troublesome. And of all the Night Witch decks that I've faced uh, so far in the release. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go graveyard once again. We're gonna go poison once again to get all those barbs some damage. Here we go, we're gonna go executioner over here. Here's the other executioner might die soon. We're gonna cycle back to the night witch. See how fast this deck cycles? It's a 3.1 cycle, and I'm already back to my rotation. So we're going to go with a graveyard here, because I think he is low on elixir, I believe. No, he's not, but we're going to poison to get more value, just so we can uh, take some more damage down for every tick of poison we have left. Now with this deck, I don't think we have any direct damage, it's just poison. So that's the negative part of this deck. If I had a, if I had a fireball, maybe it would have done work. but. Now we just poison and we're going to win, so here we go, and GG, let's drop a good game. And that is how you use this deck, disregarding the first one where I made a tornado pull mistake on the golem. But this deck is very strong, I highly recommend it. Here it is right now, Ice Spirit, Skeletons, Ice Golem, and then you have the epics of Tornado, Poison, Executioner, and you have the two legendaries of Night Witch and Graveyard. This together, I guarantee you, if you have the right level cards on ladder, I think you can win. Uh, if you get level 2 legendaries, level 6 epics, and level 12 and level 9 um, 
ice golem then i think you guys can uh, make this work because it does work trust me this deck is very good and hopefully you guys will enjoy it because tomorrow or the next video i don't know if i'm posting tomorrow the next video will showcase another night witch deck that i have found to be really fun only for challenges though i found it to be really cool and it's it's kind of trolly so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll catch you all in the next video goodbye